Hello everyone, I'm so happy to share another sewing tutorial with you. In this video, I show you how to draft and sew a double breasted vest. Shall we start? Let's do it. A copy from basic pattern of blazer, just make darts smaller to have a loose fit waist. You can adjust it based on your waist or your design. On front piece, draw the pocket placement, a diagonal line, which ends to waist dart. Then transfer shoulder dart to this line. The rest of dart under waistline should be closed. First thing to design color is specifying the breakpoint. Then extend center front line. The front extension should equal at least three times the diameter of the button or more. So here I extend 7.5 cm for 2.5 cm button. To draw row line on shoulder, go 1 cm out and in. Then match the breakpoint to the point that is 1 cm out and extend the line. Need to enlarge neckline on back for 1 cm. On center back, you can go down or keep the basic point. Then measure neckline with a stand tape. From the point which is 1 cm inside on shoulder line, you need to draw a line with measurement of back neckline that passes roll line. Then draw an arc with the center of the point on shoulder and mark 4 cm on this curve. Match the point on curve to the point on shoulder, then draw a square line there. On a square line, mark amount of stand and fall, 2.5 cm for stand and 4 cm for fall. Go down 2.5 cm from intersection of neckline and roll line and again down for 5 cm. Draw a screw line to design lapel. Fold the roll line and trace the lines. you can complete the upper color.
Mark these two points on pattern and fabric that helps you stitch color perfectly. You can customize shoulder according to your model. Do not forget to check it with the back shoulder. Specify the button placement. You should start from the break point. The buttonhole placement starts 2 cm away center front. The horizontal buttonhole spacing is 5 cm and vertical spacing is 6 cm. This is the fabric I use with details on it. You should interface the whole fabric because of stripe notice helping the pattern. After cutting, trace the pattern on fabric. I use this cotton as lining. Separate facing from the pattern and you have lining pattern. Pin center back 2.5 cm away the fold to have a pleat on center back. Let's start sewing. Cut seam allowance along the dart to put the pieces of pocket. For each pocket, need two rectangles to have double welts and two larger rectangles as flap. First, fold the rectangles and stitch 0.5 cm away the line of pockets.
stitch the sides of flap as well, except one that attaches the vest. Cut extra, clip corners and turn it, then press. Need to cut the corners to turn the welts and pockets. Now you can place the flap and bags of pocket and stitch them. Notice to order and direction. Press the seams Turn and put the pieces on the right place Stitch the dart and bags of pocket together and complete the pocket.
doing the same completely. Stitch the sides to back piece. Check the guides. Open the seams and press them. Now you can stitch front and back shoulder. Press the seams. Stitch three sides of collar. Cut extra, clip corners and end of the stitch, then turn it. Open and press the seam. Now you should attach it to the vest. Notice to those guide points. Clip the corner to stitch perfectly.
orange on west side, not color. It's time to sew facing and lining. First stitch front facing to front lining. Clip the corners to do it easily. While stitching lining and facing, sew this dart like a pleat. On back, stitch 9 to 10 cm off center and hand stitch the rest to press that like a box split. Press seam allowance toward facing and do top stitch. Stitch the darts just 2 mm away from the main lines. Attach facing to lining. Clip the corners.
press seam allowance toward facing and do top stitch. Stitch facing and lining of the side piece. Press seam allowance toward facing and do top stitch. Then stitch the sides to the back piece. Open and press the seams. Now you can stitch front and back shoulders. Press the seams. Stitch facing to the west, center front and neckline. Clip the corner.
that extra? Clip breakpoint, corners, and a curve of neckline. open seam and iron. Press seam allowance on the break point toward facing and above of it toward the west. Then do top stitch. It's time to attach the sides of vest to front and lining as well. Check the guides.
open seams and press perfectly. To complete the armhole, fold seam allowance of vest and facing and top stitch. We can clip the seam allowance on curve to do it better. To finish, you should stitch the hem, turn it and stitch from corners to the middle. Just keep 10 to 15 centimeters on sewn. Notice, a stitch on main line till facing and after that change the line of sewing to create pleat on hem. Clip the corners and turn it.
press the hem that's sewn and seam allowance on middle part. Then hand stitch the middle. I hope you liked this tutorial, thanks for watching and your support.